So I think this is a two-part question. I think you have agents who never figure out the basics to real estate and never really get off the ground and never get any momentum making any kind of consistent sales. Maybe they saved up money from their previous job to live for six months, maybe a year, but they never made enough money in real estate to survive, to continue paying their bills. So what do they have to do? They have to quit real estate, go back to their nine to five job just so they can continue paying their bills and surviving. Then there's the other type of agent that has to quit. The one who figured real estate out and found some success and had some consistent sales and everything's going great and then all of a sudden, boom, the market crashes. And then what do you do? You don't know what to do. You don't know how to survive. You don't know how to adjust because of your inexperience with market crashes, so you're forced to quit. You're forced to go back to whatever job you had before just so you can survive. Which one of these two do you think that I fell under? I figured real estate out. I had some momentum. I found success. I was doing really well. And then all of a sudden, boom, the rug got ripped out from under me and I had to quit real estate. I actually slept in my car for several nights. I went back to roofing houses. I worked on an oil rig. It was during this really low moment in my life that I experienced the most personal growth ever. And what I realized is that I did everything wrong in the beginning of my real estate career. I was so focused on the deal. I was so focused on the transaction and the money and the paycheck. That's absolutely the wrong perspective. That's the wrong philosophy. That's the wrong way to build your real estate business. It has to be relationships over transactions. You see, relationships are where all the success is in every business, not just real estate, but every industry. Relationships are everything. Relationships are key. If you build a solid relationship with your prospects, you get their business now, you get their business later, you get their referrals. There's really no way to lose if you're a relationship-founded real estate agent. So how do we start relationships? How do we create relationships? How do we keep relationships? And the answer is low pressure, finding out what you can do to actually help them short and long term and focusing everything around the answer to that question. If all you did was contact as many human beings in your market, asking them what in the world you can do to help them, focus everything around that answer, have amazing conversations, create new friends, create real relationships with real people in your market, and create a database around those people, look at where your business is. If you want to be successful in real estate, you have to be laser focused on your mission to be successful. No distractions, no excuses, just pure determination. The fact that you realize that so many people have succeeded at such a high level in this industry should give you all the confidence you need that you can do it too. Something I really want you to take with you for the rest of your life is the fact that business is 110% unlimited forever. You could work seven days a week, 24 hours a day for the rest of your life and never even scratch the surface for the amount of business that's available to each and every one of you. Once you realize this one thing, then everything else is predicated on how much you can handle, how much work you actually want to put in. And never getting upset when you lose a deal, when a seller decides to use another agent to list their property or a buyer that you show property to for weeks bought through another agent. There's nothing you can do about that. It is what it is. What you have to do is recognize the opportunity in a lost deal. You learn something, you replay the entire thing back in your head, sequence after sequence, and figure out exactly how everything went and learn exactly what happened, and that makes you a better agent. And the most exciting part for me when I lose a deal is the future time that I get back that I don't have to spend on that deal anymore. Time is our most valuable asset, and losing a deal is the only opportunity that gives you time back. You can use that future time 
time sitting around sulking about the deal that got away, or you can use that same time to go out there and initiate five more deals, five more relationships that's gonna turn into prospects who produce 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career through repeat business, referrals, and referrals of referrals. Do not get distracted by all these high pressure salespeople trying to tell you how to sell real estate and if you'll just buy their program, if you'll just buy their course, if you'll just join their coaching program, then all your problems will go away and real estate will become so easy. I'll be the first to tell you that this business is not easy. It's very tough, but it's so worth it. No one has ever succeeded in any business by not putting in massive amounts of work. You have to want it and you have to put everything that you have into it. I'm Ricky Carruth and I'm going to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry by spreading my message that relationships are far more valuable than transactions. That you don't have to be a high pressure real estate agent to succeed. You can be low pressure, you can create relationships, and you can use your personality as your strengths to win clients over short and long term. I will spread my message so far and so deep that when the next market crash happens, hopefully no agents will have to get out of the business. When the market crashes, there's so much opportunity. Buyers want to buy right now because the market's down. They want to buy before it goes up. Sellers have to sell right now because they're in trouble. The market crashed on them. When the next market crashes, I'm gonna be right here helping you every step of the way. So join my movement. Let's reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry and let me know what in the world I can do for you.